Um, this is how nomads bathe their dogs. <laughs> My hands are full, so Aubrey's gonna hold the, um, <laughs> the thing for me. We have water here in this bin, and Danny's heat helping me. She's helping me heat up water and um, pour it in here, and this pump, there's a pump, and then um, whenever I'm not using it, I'll just put it back in here so the water feeds back through, but she's getting some warm water heated up. I've already gone through a couple of gallons, but I'm bathing him and cinnamon. And I'm just, usually I'll use a groomer shampoo, like a better shampoo, but I ran out. So I just bought some of this, probably at Walmart or something. So he's a little, still a little bit soapy. So I'm going to rinse him off. And, um, wow, you're almost done, Banjo. No, he's still full of soap. Is he really? Yeah. Did <laughs> you have more water in there? Yeah. I have water here, but we're, what we're doing is we're here, mixing it with the cold water it. and it's just it's getting very warm. So, it's really warm water. This is water that is a little cooler than what we would bathe with. You can see how much Banjo loves his bath. <laughs> Not! Come here. Come here. I don't like this idea. Mom. No, he doesn't. He's <laughs> shutting real bad, too. <laughs> yeah. I have to fire every three weeks. I have to go through. I want to wait until we get some more water heated up, and then we're going to do cinnamon after he gets rinsed off. So you just push pause, babe. Okay. All right, so we're still just waiting on um, some warm water for the baby. Yeah, he's getting chilly now because it's, it's nice out. It's probably in the 70s now, but it was so hot today. It was too hot to come out and do that. Yeah. You want to say hi, everybody? He looks so sad. Yeah. <laughs> Hi everybody. Yeah. This little pup is, I'll just go ahead and come on close and I'll... Akatak, Akatak, it's a battery powered portable shower. So you just put it in your, you drop the pump, it's battery operated, and you just fill it up with water. And then if you want to use this to catch the water, you can, but we're just doing his bath in the grass, just like his and Cinnamon's, because it's so deep. We can even rinse it off. We don't need to save it. So she's got some more hot water. Thank you, ma'am. Good. Let me turn it on. Cute. And then the button to turn it on. She's gonna go ahead and turn it back on. There we go. One last rinse. It's cold. That first. One. First rinse. It's okay. One last rinse for you. One last rinse. Make sure you're not soapy at all. We don't want to leave any soap in the puppy. It'll irritate his skin. Ooh, okay. And you should know you used to own a pet grooming yes, salon. I had a pet grooming salon so for about 16 years. And um, <laughs> this is definitely not the way I bathe my dogs in my business. <laughs> but this is how we do it now because our lives have drastically changed in the last couple of years. <laughs> We've actually met a gentleman, um, Chuck, he's in his truck out here. And he's standing out here with us, so say hi. I know. Is it okay if we film you? That's, yeah, you're fine. Okay, what's your name? Steve. Steve, that's my husband's name. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So anyway, yeah, how long have you been doing uh, 25, years, 25 years, years driving a truck? Yeah. I've owned that one for 12 years now. <laughs> 12 years. He's had that. And you're in Houston now, waiting on a delivery, right? Yep. And we go tomorrow in Houston and go. Evansville, Indiana. Ah, Indiana. It's still really cold there? Uh, they got a freeze warning up there. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you sleep uh, just in the back? Yeah, that yeah. part right there with yeah. the... Yeah, the, the long yeah. back half of the truck is, is bed. Well, very cool. So you love being a truck driver, huh? Yeah, yeah. that's what I enjoy. Doing. <laughs> but I, I get to be my own boss. Right. Yeah, that makes it... Shake. 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 Shake.
Come on. Ugh, he's got a Siberian Husky. Aw, he's cute. <laughs> <laughs> <My baby>. Aww. <laughs> He's gonna want to roll and romp around because he feels good after his bath, right? Right. Right, boy. Yes. Look at him. <laughs> okay. Let me put your leash on and you can run. <laughs> okay, everyone. Banjo's going crazy because his bath is finished and he feels so good. <laughs> go, Banjo. Go. Uh oh. Go, Banjo. Go. Go, 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 man, go. Get him, baby. Get him. Oh, did I mention we're staying here at a Walmart? We're here on the side. It's working out real nicely. Great spot with a big couple of shade trees. Yeah, you have to waller in the grass and pee on everything because it's such a beautiful thing. <laughs> Are you being protective, kicking your feet like a bull? Yeah. You're so cute. Yes, you are. Come here. You don't want to be in her mama because you because I just bathed you, huh? <laughs> you're a mess. Yeah, you're a mess. Hey. All right, here we go. Round two with the bath. <laughs> yeah, this is this is not for you, bud. This is for cinnamon. Okay. Danny's. Filling up the jug for more warm water. So I think once we use this, it might be enough water. Let's see. So we got this huge patch of grass they can run in and walk and potty, and it's great. Yeah, you need to get dry, because now it's Cinnamon's turn for a bath. All right, it's your turn, little girl, okay? She's really hard to bathe, uh, one hand, so I'm not going to get much bathing with her on film. But yeah, this is how we do it. We're heating up some more water, and then I'm going to rinse her off, and then dry her and take her in. So, we'll show you when they're done. So, this... This is it for our shower session. We hope you enjoy. <laughs> She's cold, so I'm gonna get her in and get her warmed up and dry. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on next time on Full Tiny House. Bye. Okay, so hi everyone. It's Dana with Full Tiny House channel. Uh, we made it to Oklahoma, and now uh, Steve is working his delivery job for a few hours to see if he can make a little bit of money. I did call the Chrysler Dodge dealership and they did inform me I can bring my van in and what they'll do is I don't know if they have to tear the engine apart or what but they also mentioned a rental car so they may offer us a rental car if it's covered now I don't I have to take the van in and let them do whatever they do to figure that out so I'm just hoping that it's covered um, Tomorrow we're going to be doing that. Today's Friday, tomorrow's Saturday, and we'll be taking the van in in the morning, early, and then hopefully they can get to it. He said they probably wouldn't be finished with it until next week if they did have to tear the engine apart and fix the caliper, or the, uh, fix the, um, cylinder head. So, I'm not sure if they fix that or just rebuild the engine or get a rebuilt engine. I, I don't know, but I, I'm pretty sure they just fix it which is, I heard, a bigger job than, than putting a rebuilt engine in it because they have to tear it apart and do all that. But also, the code, one of the codes that it was reading was um, O2 sensor. That was the one from AutoZone. Now, the other code that was reading, we got that fixed. That was the spark plugs and the ignition, no, ignition coil I think but anyway it was the one that was $440 well after they fixed that well, it would the, the the van was um, missing like it was whenever I would stop at the at the red light or a stop sign it would be shaking and I immediately knew something was was going on with it so I was like uh oh I got it in immediately I drove it straight to the the, the shop across the way which happened to be uh, recommended to me by the guy at Walmart because at Walmart they only do tires and you know oil changes and just small jobs like that like just day jobs 
So um, he recommended across the street because he knew we were staying in our RV. So I did that, and uh, the, the guy at the Goodyear place, uh, it was a Goodyear full service. It's called Tomball um, Car Complete Auto Care or something along those lines. But, you know, the guy up front was very, very um, helpful, and he did inform me of the recall, or I don't know if it's called a recall, or phone keeps trying to do an update so it cuts off, but under the five-year powertrain warranty that I was told that I still have, I have a 2015 Chrysler Town & Country, so it is under the five-year powertrain warranty apparently, because I did call uh, one of the dealerships, it's Dodge Chrysler Jeep in Texas, and they did, he informed me that of that five-year warranty, so you know, it should be covered. I only have 57,000 miles on my van. It shouldn't be, it, I shouldn't be having engine problems by any means. So, um, it should definitely be covered. I'm not saying it will be, I'm saying it definitely should be or something is really wrong here. So I'm gonna take it in tomorrow and then eventually I will update you on what they say and hopefully you'll know by then because I'm planning on, I'm planning on being on the road uh, by next week. I, I really wanted, we were going to leave uh, Saturday or Sunday to head on to Colorado, but if I can get this this fixed here, uh, Steve can go ahead and just stay here and visit with his family while we're here. Uh, we are currently at a Cracker Barrel, and um, you know, that's kind of convenient. It's, it's not the best place to be just because, you know, if I have to go shopping, I would have to, go, like at Walmart, I have to take the RV and go. But if they do give us a rental car, we'll be all set. Um, I can't pay for a rental car, but they said that it's possible it could be covered when we take our van in. So that would be great. Especially if they know we have a family, I need to get to the store, and all that. Now, if for some reason, if it isn't, we will not get the rental car. We will just drive the RV to wherever we need to go, like to the store or whatever. So no worries there. Will be okay plus like I said he has a, a brother here who might could could um, take us or something so uh, yeah that's pretty much what's going on now we got here safely we slept well last night um, in fact next door to us uh, I think on this side I went out to walk the dogs late last night we had a, a little friend um, another RVer next door so that was nice to see that somebody else was parking here and they felt safe parking next to us. That's kind of always kind of a warm feeling when, when somebody parks near you. I, I guess they just, you know, if they don't want to park away alone, so they kind of park a little close. And I think that's why people do that. I don't, I don't think they do it to be rude. I think a lot of people get offended when people park right next to them, but I think it's just a safety and a secure thing for people. And I get it. Like, I would rather park near somebody at night, especially if it were just me. Uh, if it was just me and the, and the kids, um, definitely would, would not just want to be out alone in the middle of a parking lot. So I'm okay with that. And they were, you know, I waved and they waved. So uh, it looks like they, I, I forgot to look, but I think they were gone this morning. We haven't been out much. Um, it's pretty warm, I, I believe, today. But like I said, I didn't really notice when I went outside. It wasn't like extremely hot. The humidity is not real high and it's not miserable at all in here. I've got the generator and the air running. And I'm actually working on videos for you now. Um, what I'm doing right now is actually posting a video on Nomad Kids and Toys channel. It's called Nomad Kids and Toys. It's my kiddos and their channel and their challenges and um, stuff like that. Their toys and whatnot and of course um, me hosting or whatever, filming, narrating, because they're still a little bit wonky with the camera. Kind of looks like I am too. I'm really shaking with it. I am so sorry. But it's just so easy just to get it, just to start filming rather than to go find a tripod and set it up really. My table's a mess. I'll show you again, but my table's a mess and um, I'm working. So I just don't have any room for any tripods or extra equipment at the moment. So you can see me back there in the mirror. So we'll see you next time on Full Tiny House and I'll keep those videos coming. I have tons of footage for you like I keep telling you. So I'm working on that for you right now. Um, 
on Full Tiny House channel. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for us. It doesn't cost you anything and it helps us out. So if you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel if you aren't already, and share our videos with your friends if you think they would enjoy our channel. Um, now, I don't know if y'all are enjoying these vlogging type, what do they call them, talking head videos, which is kind of a funny name. But uh, if you like those every now and then, I know I've been doing several in the past couple of days. We've done like three, this is the third one, but I'm not gonna post this one right away. So I'll give you some more regular content before I post this. But today is the, what is it, to the 18th, 18th of May, it's Friday and we will talk to you soon. Hope everyone's having a wonderful week and weekend coming up. We'll see you next time. Bye.